Good day. It's Peter Kniff from Castlestone Management with comments on the U.S. markets for the week ending March 16th. U.S. stocks were mostly flat on the week exact as equities came under pressure Friday, a uh, triple option expiration. For the week, the Dow slipped less than one-tenth of a percent. The S&P 500 shed one-tenth of a percent, and the tech-heavy Nasdaq fell seven-tenths of a percent. The Dow fell for a third straight week, while the S&P 500 and Nasdaq each booked back-to-back -back weekly losses. Treasury yields posted weekly gains as investors debated the impact of the CPI and PPI reports. The two-year Treasury yield jumped 23.7 basis points in the week, marking its biggest weekly gain since 19 January. The 10-year note yield advanced 21.5 basis points, and the 30-year yield climbed 16.6 basis points. The U.S. dollar index scored its first weekly gain in four as stronger-than-expected economic data raised the level of uncertainty surrounding the timing of uh, rate cuts. Gold recorded its first weekly drop in the last four weeks as stronger-than-expected economic releases suggested the Fed may delay uh, cutting interest rates. Oil prices touched a four-month high and finished the week with approximately 4% gains as U.S. inventories dropped and Ukrainian drones struck a, a Russian oil facility. WTI posted a 3.9% weekly gain while Brent was up 4% in a week. Uh, thanks for listening. Thanks for doing business with Castlestone and uh, we'll talk to you soon.